Hello. Hey there. Welcome to the weekend vlog. It's Saturday afternoon. Yes. We're heading out. What a beautiful, beautiful day it is today. Yeah, it is. What is it? 76 degrees. And like no humidity. Very nice. It is very nice. So we're out and about. We're going to do a little bit of shopping. Um, we had a pretty lazy morning this morning. Yes. Relaxing. Uh, you vacuumed up a few more bees. The situation in our bedroom is under control. There was only one bee in the window this morning and I think that might have been left over from yesterday before I taped it up. So we're in good shape, I feel like. We will win the war. We will, <laughs> eventually. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It might be a long war. A war of attrition. But yeah, we, we're definitely gonna win because the cold weather is gonna be on our side. So there's that. Yeah. But. We're gonna go to BJ's first, cause I gotta get my pecans. I have to say, the keto, I'm really, really enjoying it. And it's not, if for you guys who are new, or you don't, you didn't know I was doing keto, I'm doing vegan keto. So basically, it's um, nuts, <laughs> seeds, some coconut flour things, um, yeah, tortillas, flatbread, that kind of stuff, homemade. I got my keto muffin mix. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna make that tomorrow. Oh, hello, delicious Y. Oh my God, I want a Tesla so bad. Anyway, <laughs> I can't be distracted by the beautiful Tesla, although it is freaking beautiful. Do you see the red brake thing on there? Oh yeah. Oh my God, that's so hot. I if that's, that and. Be added on or I don't, I don't know if probably like I don't think it comes like that but like oh that is a nice Tesla I'm not one to fawn over cars I never gave a crap about cars as long as I had a car that worked and was reliable and got me from point A to point B I never cared about cars until Tesla it's dangerous anyway uh, <laughs> oh yeah it's probably coming for me anyway <laughs> Well, oh, the keto's going really well. Um, I'm trying to not obsess about it because uh, I do have an eating disorder. But I'm down nine pounds in like three, almost three weeks. Three weeks on Monday. And uh, it's been pretty effortless. In the beginning, it was a bit of a learning curve because I've always been afraid of fat. I've always been afraid of using too much oil or eat, you know, eating too many nuts or mm. so now it's like the script has been flipped and I have to say I'm not really missing the carbs that much. I you know, I I'm a rice girl. I'm a I'm a uh, bread girl. I love my carbs. I love my beans, but I feel like I'm not really missing them. The fat is so satisfying. It keeps me hu uh, hunger free most of the day. You're not hungry? I'm not I'm not hungry. No. Oh, why didn't this guy pull up to that other Oh, one? poop. Can't you squeeze through there? I don't know. I can't see the curb. Uh, you are you good. Tell me. You got to tell me. You are good. Okay. Straight in yeah. Good. Wonderful. We made it. <laughs> anyway, um yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's it's really it's really been nice. As nice as a diet can be, right? But I am going like some people are like, oh, it's not sustainable, but the way I'm doing it is going to be sustainable because as I get closer to where I want to be, I'm gonna start adding in more carbs. So I'm probably not gonna do rice, but I will do beans in the future and maybe some berries but right now I'm feeling great and my uh, inflammation has gone way down so it's been it's been really good but there I just want to give you guys a little update all right uh, obviously we made it back from shopping because all the stuff that we bought is out on the table and the counter so we went to BJ's 
and ShopRite. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I just took the garbage and recyclables out. <laughs> Let me just catch my breath a second here. Let's do two deep breaths. <sighs> okay, much better. All right, so BJ's, we actually upgraded our membership uh, so that we could get 15 cents off a gallon of the gas, which is already a great price. It's typically 10 to 15 cents lower than the local gas. And now with the 15 cents off, it's like saving 30 cents a gallon. So that was good. And they also had a promotion. So our membership is up next year. So they prorated it so that we only had to pay $20 to get the better membership. But there was a $40 incentive. So we actually netted $20. So you can't be angry at that. <laughs> Can't be angry at that at all. That's like almost a whole tank of gas with the savings. Okay, so at BJ's we got some more of the own um, protein drink. It's zero net carbs. Not all of the own. I had one in the car because uh, that was my lunch along with the salad. Um, that is 30 grams of plant protein and zero net carbs. So that is phenomenal. That is exactly perfect for me. I also um, ordered some Sun Warrior Zero Net Carbs Protein Powder, and that's coming on Monday, so I'm excited about that. I've never eaten so much protein in my life, and I feel so satisfied. I, I don't know why I was afraid of protein and fat before, and I was just like, oh, I'm high carb. High carb means I'm always eating. This is like, I can eat a little bit, get on with my day. I'm not hungry, I'm not craving anything. So it's just, it's fantastic. So I've been really enjoying it and I have to admit that I effed up here. <laughs> I ordered these um, keto cookies. Let's turn the light on in here. I ordered these keto cookies from Amazon the other day. I was waiting in the car, waiting for Sean. And I saw the chocolate chip ones the Lenny and Larry's, the chocolate chip ones have almond flour. So I quickly read the ingredients and I'm going to check again because if Amazon listed the ingredients wrong and misled me, I should be able to return it because now I can't eat them. The, um, I thought that they didn't include almond flour for the peanut ones, but they do. I read it on the label. So like, I want to go back now and make sure that it says uh, almond flour on the website because if it doesn't I'm gonna ask for my money back but anyway <laughs> back with the BJ's uh, thing so got the protein drink got some flour for everybody's sourdough because we exclusively only eat sourdough well I don't they do sourdough bread now we don't eat any other kind of bread Unless we're out of the house, obviously, but in the house, exclusively sourdough. I got some pecan halves. <laughs> These, I was very pleasantly surprised, only have one net carb per serving, so that is fantastic. And I love the sweet flavor of pecans. Love them. Mark got these protein bars. They are not vegan, I'm afraid. I, I can't have them anyway because they have almonds. And he found this uh, plant-powered uh, soup bowl. So you get eight in there, and I think they had a coupon as well for two fifty dollars off. And that's something a little nice for him to take to work. He could heat it up in his microwave, have a little sandwich on the side maybe, or half sandwich. I think that'll work out pretty good. Now all of a sudden my nose is running too. I'm the total package today. Sorry, and I'm sorry. I'm going to need to turn on the air in a minute. We got some Beyond Meatballs, some Beyond Chicken. The boys are having wraps tonight. I guess I'm having a, a salad with some tofu on it. I can't eat those because they are seitan. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, we did have burgers last night, so um, I'm not exactly craving another burger. Mushrooms. They had the dog treats on sale that we've been buying for Bowie, the freeze-dried beef liver, for like six bucks off. I mean, 
I got two because I can't turn that down and they don't expire to like 2025 so 2025 yeah <laughs> that's everything that we got at BJ's then we went to ShopRite and Sean was such a good boy I have to order his thing online that he wants but I also got him a big thing of uh, the mega goldfish we got some Cheerios some vegan yellow rice mix some frozen broccoli rub some frozen mixed veg, obviously not for me because the corn is uh, not good for me. The carrots too, I think they're too high in carbs. I mean, later on when I start adding more carbs back into my diet, those will be fine. But right now, I'm still in the beginning. It's only been not even three weeks yet, so. Got some ragu sauce. The Simply one is actually pretty decent. They had the vitamin water on sale, so I got three zeros. Uh, my favorite, lupini beans, which are so low-carb, wonderful. Some Kalamata olives, also low-carb. Some roasted red peppers, also uh, relatively low-carb. Mark's almond milk, some low-carb uh, cauliflower. Refried beans for everybody else. Mark's juice. Uh, Mark's favorite uh, creamer potatoes in like tricolor. Some Beyond Beef that was on sale. Tofu was on sale for $1.99 each. And this is, I believe, the zero net carb, which is fantastic. Some beautiful low carb bok choy and some uh, spring mix. So, all in all, pretty great shopping trip. <laughs> Pretty great shopping trip. I'm most excited for the pecans. I love them. Oh, damn. I love a man who likes to make vegan <laughs> eggs. Make <laughs> eggs made out of beans. Yeah, actually, they're lentils, I think. I thought they were mung. No? Mung beans. Well, I, I think it's a lentil, but a bean is a lentil? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but. From a chicken. Oh, thank goodness so it's Sunday and we're having a lazy morning killing bees right. my camera died I don't know how much you saw but Mark is such a good little house husband <laughs> yeah you're the best honey at least top three right no the best okay. I say the best it's not like BJ's you're not top tier you are the tier right. so we are having a lazy morning, killing some yellow jackets. I hate to kill well, <laughs> being a vegan, you know? Words. I find it very sad. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I also don't want to get stung. Yeah. You know, they don't want to be in the house. Right. They'd rather be out in the natural world, but there's just no way I can get them out I mean, there. you've been trying to get them out. Yeah. And it's been very difficult. They don't have the door open, they just wouldn't go. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like we didn't try other avenues. It's not like we just went, like, kill them all, like God sort of. No, we started out by catching them in the net. Right, and releasing them, which was probably uh, kind of useless because they probably went right yeah, back to the nest that they of had. Of course. But for some reason, they decided to come in this, well, this time. Yeah. We still got a few coming in the bedroom, but nothing like it was on Friday, so... Yeah, we gotta find out where they are getting in. Uh, could be a completely different place. We don't know. I mean, could it also be that you brought some up on your clothes and, like, they were strays and... No? You think they're coming in from that area yes. over there? You know, it, we might have to pull the bed back and that, um, because the skirting is not nailed in the molding on the bottom no. so maybe if i put some tape behind that and block that maybe that's where they're coming in very possible i don't know i hate an old house i kind of want a new a house huge, you know what this could happen in a new house yeah but i mean our house is like nature is 70 something years old nature is extremely persistent oh, it is plants bugs yeah. I mean, you give them an inch, and they yeah. grow, and they infiltrate. It's amazing. Your eggs smell good, but I am 0% uh, hungry right now. Yeah. <laughs> I had my they keto muffins. 
They do not taste like oh. eggs, by the way. Keto muffins are back on the menu. Yeah, they don't taste like eggs, which is a good thing because I hate eggs. The texture is similar mm -hmm. to an egg. It's much blander than an egg. Yeah. An egg is... I don't know, I find eggs farty, and I don't like that. Mm -hmm. It's not like, like sulfur. Yeah, a lot of vegans use that kalamanaka or whatever. Oh, the fart stuck. salt. Oh, did it get stuck? Yeah, the bread. Don't touch that with your hands. I know, woman. <laughs> Sean's very vocal this morning. Maddie's coming over later for a swim. This is probably the last weekend for the pool. Oh, yes. Because it's going to be, it's in the 40s every night. Yeah. And during the day, I don't know if it's making it above the 70s, so. Yeah, I'll have to check the... Uh, this is that wacky time of the year where it's like you wear a coat in the morning and you come home in a t-shirt. Yeah. I like it. Um, I like it, but dressing Sean is a problem because he doesn't understand to leave his jacket off in the afternoon. I want to check the weather. Bubby, he also is having a problem today. <laughs> he got a little poop stuck in his uh, butt flange fur. He doesn't like it, and he won't let us touch it. So we even tried muzzling him, but he just glues his butt to the floor and doesn't move. So we just have to wait for it to dry and flake off. <laughs> Disgusting, yes, it is. That's the joy of having pets. It's like when you have babies and uh, you change their poop. Because you love them. And uh, it's the same thing with a dog. I mean, you deal with it because you love them so much. I'm sure Lammy's quite disgusted because she smells like zero. She smells like nothing. <laughs> Bubby smells like an old blanket. <laughs> he does. 60s and 70s? Bye bye bees. It's cold for them. They act like, ugh. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's been just draining and exhausting dealing with them, so I'm exhausted. Bowie's new bed came. Yay. It's like one of those um, air mattresses. Mm-hmm. Kind of where you open it up and it like, um... Come on, baby! Com um, decompresses. Yeah. He knows it's for him! Bubbins. Crap! Bubbins for you! you. Not for Lammy, just oh. for Oh! Lammy can go in there, too. If Bubby invites her. Yeah. Oh, Bubby, it's such a nice color gray, too. It's gonna look lovely with your... Oh. Bowie. Oh. Oh, it's like Release logs. the bed. That's crazy how they pack that. Yeah. Yikes, it's like sausages. <laughs> Let's see if it like explodes out of the bag. It probably is. It's going to be like those uh, biscuits that you make. There is no fun to It's like an water. episode of I Love Lucy or something. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's coming alive. It's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I should just cut it up here. I'm confused. What is this part? I don't know. Is that the outside? I don't know. Ooh, I can't believe that that was all in there. What's going? Oh, it's like tubes. All right, I'm not gonna um, make you watch me put this whole thing together, but we'll see what it looks like when it's all put together. Okay. Good idea. Oh, he loves it! Yay! Whee! Good boy! Bubby, it's perfect for you. Oh, he loves it. Oh, and here comes trouble. Lamb! What do you think, Lamb? Lammy said, I think I want to scratch the rug. Where's mine? Lammy, you have a million beds over the house. Let's see what she thinks. Lammy, look. No, she's not going to pee on it. 
Bubby's bed. It's Bubby's bed. Lammy, what do you think? I won't. She's like, there's a dog on the box. Oh. I can't believe this giant bed came in this tiny, tiny box. It really came together nicely. Yeah, it did. Enjoy it, Bubby. Bubby! Hi. Bye. It's time to close the vlog. Yes. We were going to talk about um, Dancing with the Stars, but we're going to leave that for the next one because it's it just no time. It is 7.15. Yeah. Today was a long Big Brother day. Yes, it was. But you got a treasure trove of stuff here. I do. I'm so excited. Oh my! Ooh, getting ready for our next market. Yeah, very exciting. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with these loops and threads, uh, floral ones, the blossoms. Yeah, it's not, it's not showing up because it's too bright in here with the light. Oh well, take it from me, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, very cute. But yeah, I'm excited. Get cracking. So many possibilities in here. We have one birthday shout out. Oh. It's for Sandra or Sandra Sanders. Oh, yay! I think it's Thursday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sandra or Sandra. I'm not quite sure, and I apologize. Hope you're living your best day, week, month, year, lifetime of birthday happiness. Yes. The microwaves are calling. And tomorrow's one of my best friend's birthdays, Jen. Oh, Jen. Yep. Jen came to your wedding. Yes, she did. It was great to see her. <laughs> it was great to see her. <laughs> Especially since you guys have been together uh, since been softball, since middle like school. middle school, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you must go out into the rain. Yeah, it's been raining all day. It's gross. It is gross. The bee situation is still not under control. It seems like it's a little bit better today, though. Uh, slightly. I haven't been in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> is, is it safe for me to do laundry tomorrow or no? Uh, that I don't know. Okay. I mean, at your own risk, of course. Well, maybe I can push it another day. I don't think a day is going to matter. Like, maybe you should get your husband to do the laundry. All right. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. I mean, he knows how to do laundry. He does. Yeah. All right. All right, tell him to get crack a -lacking. All right. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time... Much love. Sean's really feeling himself over there. Yeah, he's doing his lamb chop show. All right. Right, Lammy? Bye. Bye. Much love.